First thing we're going to do is pop this part out here and you'll want to use a panel tool because you don't want to damage it. Hey guys and gals, it's Mr. Know-It-All here and I've got to share something with you on this beautiful Pensacola day. All right, as you know, Mr. Know-It-All is here with another learning tip to help you and make your life better and easier. Here's the gig. A lot of two cycle motors that are on weed whackers, leaf blowers and all that have pretty much the same issues and problems. This PB9010T has one problem that it will start to do. It's kind of a drop that Echo did. They dropped the ball a little bit and what will happen is it'll bog out on you. And if you've had that problem, you'll notice in the clear line right here, you'll start seeing bubbles coming up through there when it's at full throttle and bogging out on you and to the point where it almost dies. Here's the problem, here's the fix to it. Very simple to do. First thing we're going to do is pop this part out here and you'll want to use a panel tool because you don't want to damage it. Once you get it up a little bit, then you can work your way around. That's your vent, no big deal there. We'll go back on. You want to make sure your gas is fresh. They really like fresh gas. Fresh gas and use the recommended manufacturer's two cycle oil for your mix. Now here's what the problem is. This is where your filter is. And this is a Walbro filter that's on this. And what happens is when the filter starts getting slightly uh, contaminated with dirt, it will start to pull harder. And when it pulls harder, what it'll do is it'll start sucking air. So you take some of these little rigs right here, zip ties, and you'll put two of them on. I put two, you don't have to, but if you can get them real tight, take a pair of needle nose and you just twist on the zip tie until it really gets tight and then cut it off. So I did two of them. And how do you know which line you're doing and which line is which up here? Because you want to put two on this one. This is your clear line. That's your fuel intake. This is your uh, primer line. So you find out which is which, but you can follow it down. You put two zip ties on here and two zip ties up here. Then when the filter starts getting slightly dirty, it cannot suck air. It'll make the filter do its job and last longer for you. Now you can make these filters like this one here last even longer by cleaning it. And all you have to do is take your carburetor cleaner, when you have the filter off, stick the straw inside and move it in and back as far as it will go and back, spraying it, and the carburetor cleaner will flush all the dirt out of the filter. And you literally can put the filter back on, saving yourself even more money. So this will go with pretty much any weed whacker, any leaf blower, any two cycle engine that has a primer on it. And then you just push your riggins back down in there. And I use this so I don't damage that. Just like that. Now we can put our vent back on. And what I do is I, the, this is rubber going into rubber so it's a little bit hard to deal with. I just press it down. And that is done. Now you don't have to worry about it uh, bogging out, dying out, and it'll frustrate you. It'll get you to the point where you think it's the air filter up here. And it's not the air filter. Then there'll be the pre-filter, which is here. You can clean this out with carburetor cleaner, rinse it out, blow this out. Always blow your filters out from the back side. Blow it out this way. So it's going this way to blow all the dirt that is collected up here. Blow it that way. Never blow it towards the screen. This is probably the most powerful backpack blower on the market. There's probably not one out there that will blow the amount of air that this will blow, the cubic feet per minute of air and the speed of air. I don't know, it's like 200 miles an hour or some ungodly amount. And it's an awesome, awesome tool and it works great, except that one problem right here, Mr. Know-It-All, out. GoPro, stop recording.